can you mentally find out what is 37 times 33 and yes you read it right it's three seconds only so your time starts now the correct answer is 1221 there it is okay so let me just show you this easy cal trick right away in order to multiply 37 with 33 all you need to do is multiply 3 with the number that comes after it what comes after 3 in counting 4 isn't it so 3 4 times is 12 and you have the first two digits of your answer and for the last two digits all you need to do is multiply this 7 with this 3 that is the units digits together 7 3 times is 21 and there you have the answer the answer is 12 21 <laughs> isn't that simple right so what is 56 times 54 after 5 the next number in the counting is 6 so 6 5 times is 30 and for the last two digits just find the product of the units digits so 6 4 times is 24 so the answer is 30 24 so next number after 2 is 3 so 3 2 times is 6 for the last two digits find the product of this 1 and this 9 that is units digits 1 times 9 is 9 so we put 0 9 here all right now here you have 11 so what is the number that comes next after 11 in the counting that is of course 12 and we have just learned in the first easy cal trick how to multiply any two digit number with 11 just add the two digits and sandwich the result in between so the answer is 132 so write 132 and for the last two digits find the product of 2 and 8 so 16 that's your answer see it's so simple but then unlike the method that we learnt in the last easy cal trick this trick can only be applied when two conditions are satisfied what are those two conditions the number here should be equal to the number here all right like 5 equal to 5 2 equal to this 2 11 equal to this 11 are you getting the point first condition is that the numbers have to be are then 50s, 60s, 70s, 120s, 130s, so on and so forth. And the second condition is that, that the units digit should always add up to 10. Like 6 plus 4 is 10, 1 plus 9 is 10, 2 plus 8 is 10. When these two conditions are satisfied, this trick will work like magic, pure magic. In case the two conditions are not satisfied, no problem at all because you know the direct arrow multiplication method which we have learnt in EasyCal 5 use that trick and again you can easily get the answer so the idea is to find the answer quickly correctly and yes mentally okay so let's take one last example before we move on to the next trick and you do it this time okay so what is 59 times 51 immediately next number after 5 is 6 so 6 5 times is 30 all right and 9 1 times is 9 so put 0 9 here that's your answer 